everybody, it's me, Miss Corey. I am so excited that you're here today. It's a brand new month, and you know what that means. It's a brand new theme, and this time, we're doing Put On Your Shoes. I am so excited. We're gonna have some great time during worship. But besides that, there's so many other things we have to go over. I mean, okay, with a new month, we have our new bottom line, and the bottom line this time is who can be friends with Jesus? And then you're gonna say, everyone can be friends with Jesus. But I feel like we should practice that. Okay, let's try. Who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That was a good try, you know, it's your first time. So let's try it again, ready? Who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Nice, nice. Well, we'll get a lot of practice over the next month, but for now, we got some other things to talk about. So, new month, new bottom line, new theme, oh, new Bible verse. All right, so we've got a new Bible verse I'm really excited for you guys to learn, but we'll watch the video for that later. And then we have a new song. I'm so excited. Anytime there's a new song, it means new moves, new dancing, new, new rhythms. I'm so excited for you guys to learn this one. It's gonna be great. And then, all month long, we're gonna be hearing different stories from the Bible about Jesus and the amazing things he did and how he went around and wanted everyone to be his friend. That is so cool. Well, let's go ahead into our clubhouse and do the three things we do every week. So first, we've got our memory verse where we'll be learning a verse from the Bible. Then we've got our dancing, which I already talked about. And then after that, we'll hear our true story from the Bible. I'm so excited. Let's go inside, guys. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19.
My dad and I went to the yard sale and found this super cool trunk, but it's locked, and there's no key. We bought the trunk without even knowing what was inside. My dad found this key that might work. Should we see if it works? Okay, well I'll say one, two, three, open please. Ready? One, two, Three, open please. It worked. Now we have to open the lid. Everyone do a drum roll on your legs like this. Here we go. Wow, take a look. Shoes, there are all kinds of shoes. There are cowboy boots. Giddy up! Ooh, tap shoes! There are even shoes to wear before bed! I wonder what other kind of shoes are in here. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Hayden! Who? Who? Finding some new shoes, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I think there are enough different shoes in this trunk for everyone. Everyone? That may be true. I know something else about everyone, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I got back a little late from my fishing trip, so I didn't have time to change my shoes before I had to deliver the mail. These are my super big fishing boots. Aren't they awesome? They keep my feet dry if I need to step in the water. Have you ever been fishing? It's really fun. And actually, I have a true story about Jesus and some fishermen. Do you want to hear it? Okay, great. 
Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with two fishermen named Peter and Andrew. They used a big net when they went fishing. Let's pretend we're fishermen and throw out a net. Ready, set, throw! Once the net's in the water, you wait for the fish. Look, we've got fish. Oh, oh, and more fish, and more fish. It's time to pull up our net. Let's pretend to pull up our net. Ready, set, pull! 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 One more time. Pull! We did it. We went fishing, just like the fishermen did. So Peter and Andrew were fishermen, and they fished every day. Well, one day, Jesus came walking by. They knew who Jesus was. They knew he was special and was an amazing teacher. Jesus looked at them and said, come follow me. Wow, Jesus, God's son, wanted to be friends with the fishermen. He wanted them to follow him. Andrew and Peter were so excited that they left their nets and followed Jesus right away. Then Jesus saw two more fishermen named James and John in a boat fishing with their dad. Jesus said to them, come, follow me. Jesus wanted to be friends with them too. They were so happy. They got out of their boat and followed Jesus. These four fishermen, Peter, Andrew, James, and John, followed Jesus and became some of his really good friends called disciples. Do you know what the best part is? Jesus wants to be friends with you too. Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. We can all follow him. That's amazing. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus wants everyone to follow him, including me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus told lots of people to follow him. He wants to be friends with everyone always. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. I wonder what other kind of shoes I can find. These are fun. Bye, see you next time. That was incredible. Do you remember who our true story from the Bible was about? That's right, it was Jesus and the fishermen. All right, there was a lot that happened. So remember, Jesus came by and there was these guys, right? And they were holding up these nets because they were fishermen. Now, this is a tough question, but do you remember any of their names? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so their names were Peter, Andrew, James and John, and they were some of the first people that Jesus asked to be his friends. They were fishermen, and they would use this big net when they went fishing to catch all of the fishies in the water. Now, one day, Jesus was walking by, and they knew who Jesus was. They knew that Jesus was really special and an amazing teacher who went around and was super popular. But Jesus looked straight at them, lowly fishermen, and said, hey, Come follow me. And they were like, whoa, Jesus, God's son, the great teacher, wants to be my friend? Wants to be friends with fishermen? That's crazy. He wanted them to follow him. Andrew and Peter and James and John, they were so excited that they just 
dropped their nets and they went and followed Jesus. That's crazy. They were out fishing, getting money, doing everything that they needed to live. They decided that Jesus was more important, that they just dropped their nets and followed him right then and there. These four fishermen, see, Andrew, Peter, James, John, decided to follow Jesus and become some of his really good friends. And they were called disciples. And do you know what the best part is? Jesus wants to be friends with you too. Isn't that crazy? Jesus wants to be friends with everyone and we can all follow him. That's amazing. He wants to be friends with my neighbor. He wants to be friends with my mom. He wants to be friends with me and he wants to be friends with you and really everyone else in the world. All right, so one more time, who can be friends with Jesus? That's right, everyone can be friends with Jesus. It's so true. Well guys, I had a great time today. It was so much fun learning this story with you. I cannot wait for the next time I get to be with you guys. But before we leave, we have our very important thing to do, which is to pray. So if you'll join me, you're gonna put your hands together. You're gonna close your eyes. That means all of you, close your eyes, and we'll pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. I thank you that we got to learn this true story from the Bible about how you love everyone and you wanna be friends with everyone. Even, even fishermen, even mailmen, even us, God. That is so amazing and we are so thankful that we get to be your friends forever. God, I pray for a great rest of our day and that we get to have a fun month of March. Thank you, Lord, for this day, and everybody said amen. Well, I had so much fun with you guys. I cannot wait till the next time I get to see you, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.